Yo, 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 what's up, family? Before we start the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and share to any and every one that you can so we can get out there a little bit more. And with that being said, welcome to the video. The Celtics bounce back in game four, get a 102 82 lead over the Miami Heat in TD Garden. This game was about Tatum, um, Al, Rob, Derek White, those guys, and Pritchard, they got it done. Um, we knew Tatum was going to bounce back. But the difference in this one is that Tatum really honed in on getting to the line, imposing his will on, he got some ticky tack calls, but he's a superstar in this league. Every superstar gets those calls or are supposed to get those calls. It was shades of what Jimmy got in game one. I didn't think the Celtics played an A plus game. I thought it was like a C plus, B minus, but in the East Conference Finals and in the playoffs in general, you have to stack wins no matter how you get them. Game three i think was a fumbled opportunity you could have been a 3-1 right now game one you should have won that you had a had a disastrous third quarter that's a game you should have won even without smart you should have won that game game two you blow them out at home at their home game three golden opportunity down 26 no jimmy you come all the way back squander that opportunity that's two games already that you squandered and the series is 2-2 Two plus two is four. You could have been already done this if you took care of your business. And I I keep saying this to people on Twitter. I keep saying this to people that I'm talking to about this series. The Celtics A game beats everybody. If the Celtics played their A game for the majority of the game, they beat everybody. Just like in the Bucks series. When the Bucks won, they won by small margins because their A plus and the Celtics B plus isn't that far but when the Celtics play a plus the three out of the four wins against the bucks were double digit wins because their a plus is just so much better than them especially without chris even the miami heat the number one seed the Celtics are much better not a much better team but the Celtics are a better team the heat are already deeper i will say that but but the celtics eight man rotation just trumps the rest of the league we don't know about the Warriors or the Mavericks yet. Looking like the Warriors, but in the East, the Celtics eight-man rotation when they're playing eight-plus ball cannot be competed with. Can't even be competed with. But individually, you know, as I said, Tatum opposing, imposing his will, getting to the line, getting downhill, making some great passes and decisions when he was in traffic. I think the film or whatever they did yesterday really helped Tatum and it showed. Because when Tatum was you know, had a matchup that he liked. He would go, do his couple of moves, then he would see help. Usually Tatum would just try to go through him, but this game, Tatum actually read what was happening. If he did his move and he didn't have space to go through them, he backed it out, either reset or passed the ball out. The best player, the ball is always gonna find the best player. So I never understood why Tatum just, always felt like he had to have the ball in his hands every second it's easier when you move off ball look at steph curry that takes a lot of conditioning it takes a lot of effort but this is nba basketball you gotta do what you gotta do the gravity he holds even if he's just off ball is just he has to get way more comfortable with being off ball because as you see the game before this he's trying to force things go through people he has six turnovers tonight the Celtics at the team only have nine even though brown was getting stripped basically every play that's because tatum and everybody else played calm not that brown didn't play calm but you know he was still having trouble with his handle but tatum um one concern i can say is that his jumper was off i don't know if it's because he was just off or if it has something to do with that shoulder thing hopefully it's not anything to do with that shoulder thing because all of his jump shots that he missed were short he had like two air balls had some if he shot from the top of the key it was hitting the it was in the front of the rim. If he shot from the side, it was in the side. So I just hope that, you know, that's not affecting him. It didn't affect him on his free throws. He really hit those. But yeah, Tatum was great. Got to keep up this play. And usually when Tatum has these 30 point, 40 point games, he's hitting like five threes. His jumper's falling from everywhere on the perimeter. But today, his inside game and his in between game, when the Heat were in zone, he was getting to the free throw line surveying the court he was just rising up over whoever's checking him or dishing off to a guy or penetrating and 
this is a good game for Tatum, a great game for Tatum. When he only hits one three, I, I believe, but he still has 30 points because he dominated physically. And this is the mindset and the, the type of style that you want to see him play. And you couple this with a night where he's hitting jump shots, this is about 50 points. If he was hitting the shots from the outside, he would have had 45, 50 points. So individually, again, Al Horford, just a marvelous game. Defensively rebounding, getting the ball off of the rebounds, pushing it, passing out. Only had, I think, two or four points. In terms of scoring, anything he gives you is a plus. But the defense and the rebound, the versatility that he, he brings and he allows the team to play with, it's just great, man. It's the blocks he had on Bam, on Jimmy. I want to thank OKC. Really want to thank OKC for shutting him down. He was not part of their future plans. They shut him down, allowed him to get his body right for this exact moment where everybody's concerned about him playing high minutes. I am too, but he's holding a well and he's shown that he can do it over and over again. Robert Williams. I keep going back and forth with people and I don't even know why this is really a discussion, but Rob is an impact guy. Rob is an impact guy. He changes this series. His availability severely changes the outcome of this series. The Buck series, he would have been effective, but his effectiveness in this series is greater because the Heat are so small. There's times where they have Bam, but him and Bam are the same height. When you go against the Bucks, you have Giannis, Brooke, and Portis. Three guys over 6'11". He'd only have one, which is kind of, I think, Dwayne Dedman. So, Rob can easily dominate these guys on offensive rebounding. Defensively, we already know what he brings, but I want to shout out Jeff Van Gundy for, like, telling people that, yeah, Rob's a great defender, all-NBA second-team defender, and what he does on that side of the ball is imperative to what the Celtics do. But offensively, he's underrated as hell. He's an outlet for anybody that's driving. If they just throw the ball up to him, there's not a lot of people that are going to jump with him and catch those lobs. And he's a great passer at the top of the key. He's a great passer overall. Um, a guy that can handle it a little bit on top of the key. He has a little mid-range. If you leave him open for too long, he'll show you that touch in the floater. Rob's just an all-around player, and he just has to stay healthy. And you've seen the impact he can have even when he's not 100%. He was not 100% this game. The... There was a lob where Al threw one to him, I think, in the first quarter. Immediately after that, he was limping up the floor. He may took him out for Grant. He came back in, dug it out, started limping again. Grant came in. So it was well big, so he sat the rest of the game. It's just about pain tolerance, bro. He has to be willing to take some pain to play in these games. And he can still be effective when he's not 100%. Because his athleticism is a huge part of his his game is what makes him special but he's also a basketball player he's not just an athlete he's a guy that has quick hands he knows how to pass a guy that screws everything together he's just he's versatile he can guard multiple positions as you see he guarded jimmy guarded lowry guarded pj guarded bam he guards everybody on the floor and i'm very curious to see how much pain he's in for game five if he plays hopefully he does hopefully we get smart back but rob al tatum which is great tonight. Then you have Derek White who comes back from just a very non-aggressive game in game three. Um, very bad game, but I, I, I keep telling people this, his size and his in-between game are something that the Celtics can use. And he scored the first seven points of this game by driving, getting downhill, then he hit a three. He's bigger than most guards. And even if he's not, he still finds a way to get that push shot floater off that turnaround little jumper in the lane. Derek White has scoring potential and he has game when he's aggressive. He just has to be aggressive. His son needs to see him be aggressive in these games, bro. Even though he's not really well watching now, but Derek White can be aggressive. And then he had an all around game. Everybody knows Derek White does more than score, but when he does score, it's just something that's added, just like Al. Two guys that do a lot more than scoring, but when they do score, it's just an added bonus to get the team over the hump and Derek White did that tonight. I think he had 13 points, like eight rebounds, six assists, or the other way around, he had like three steals. Just just great all around game from Derek White. Pritchard also had a cool game, but it's just a thing about Smart being out. They're gonna hunt Pritchard. 
he's a tough defender. He's actually a good defender, but he's just smaller. And guys like Jimmy and today Oladipo, I'm just gonna pick on Pritchard. But if he gives you things that you want on offense, he can stay out there, be tough on the defense, even though they're picking on him a little bit. That's okay. Jalen, bad game. Knowing when to go and to pull back out of it and just survey the court better and pick his spots, but. It feels like every time he drives, he's getting ripped, stripped, and it's going off his leg. Now it's going the other way. It's just too many times where he's putting the ball low against guys like Gabe, Vincent, and Lowry. Guys who have great hands who are going to poke at the ball and most likely poke the loose. I want to see Jalen kind of handle it like a football. Like Once he's driving, he takes his two steps. He cradles it. So even if they try to, it's either a foul or they're not going to get it. He's a strong guy. So if he cradles it, take his two steps, go up, I think that could be a thing that, that helps him. Um, don't want to see this game from Jaden again. He got overshadowed because the Celtics won by 20. So that's that. Last thing I want to talk about is the Heat. I really, from the beginning of this series, I didn't think that he had the offensive personnel and like explosiveness to consistently crack 100 points in the half court. Their defense has to fuel their offense and has been doing this for this whole series. You know, Jimmy's a great player. Tyler Hero's a great scorer. But besides them, you can't really count on anyone else to score. Bam, it's kind of like Derek White, a little bit where some games they just aren't aggressive enough. And Bam, with Robin out playing against him, doesn't do well. And he's going to continue to not do well against those guys just because of the length and the athleticism and the smarts that they have. You could feel the first couple possessions in game three without Rob that he was making a conservative effort to put the ball in the hoop or at least trying to. Today, he got a couple early touches, didn't work out. That set the tone for the entire game. He was passive the entire game. So he's a great defender, but on offense, if he's scoring, it takes them to another step. And that step was not reached for three out of the four games now. Also, I was wrong. I thought Tyler Hero being out would be a good thing because he hasn't played great in this series besides game one where he kept them in the game when they should have been getting blown out in the first half. I thought it would enhance their defense to the point where they could win because that just gives Jalen Brown and Tatum one less guy to pick on. And... Tonight, they really needed Hero's creation off the pick and rolls and his scoring. They just did not have anything outside of Victor Oladipo. Anything. And I just think they needed that because their half court offense was horrible. They was missing shot after shot. They started the game like 0 for 12, 0 for 13, something like that. But so this made it extremely hard on them. They don't have the personnel to just hit tough shots all game. I think that's something that the Celtics have to take into consideration for the rest of this series is that the Heat outside of Jimmy and Tyler Hero don't have consistent, proven, tough shot makers. And if you make things tough for them, maybe you'll come out like this. It's probably not gonna be a 20 point blowout every game, but if you force them to take tough shots, there's not a lot of guys on that team that can beat you with tough shots. And today on the offensive side of the ball, the Celtics were not great at all. Their shooting splits were not good at all. They don't usually shoot that bad, but they won by 20 points because of the defense. Continue to force them into tough shots, we're going to see the status of Tyler Hero. We're going to see how Jimmy looks in game five. We're going to see uh, how Rob looks. If the shoulder is actually bothering Tatum, smart availability. I just want everybody to be healthy. These are conference finals. Best of three series now with two in Miami. I think the Celtics can get it done. If they play their A game, they can beat everybody. It's Snick. Please, 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 please leave a like. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe. Share to any and everyone that you can. I'll see you guys game five. Peace.